Welcome to Ancient Tales by k a n a l a Channel, where we keep tales alive and forever. Episode 39: Unseen s a m i s p i c t s in the Past, Age Over 100 Years Ago, Part 1. Today, Ancient Tales by k a n a l a Channel would like to present the old and rarely to be seen s a m i s p i c t s in the past, which mostly age over 100 years ago. It was pretty popular last time when our team k a n a l a b o l a t o r y Had launched the previous version in Thai language, which you can still find the link below this video for your convenience. Unless you are a non-Thai speaking person and would love to hear all about Thai or Siamese folks, cultures, traditions, way of lives, and etc. In this video here, you are exactly at the right place to find out. Let's start then. First, the herd of elephants in k l o n g s a b u a l o t a s Canal at Ayutthaya Province. The ex capital city of Thailand during the reign of King Prachulajom k l a u j a u h u a King Rama V. Second, the elephants were joining a parade of the royal giant swing ceremony in Bangkok. They were on the way to Wang s a r a n r o m Salanrom Palace. Third, two boys, the son of the permanent secretary, Master Mon and Master s u m b u n were playing with the camera at Wang Pratu Sam Yot, Pratu Sam Yot Palace. Fourth, the grand opening ceremony of one of the electrical railway system in Bangkok during the reign of King Prachulajom k l a u j a u h u a King Rama V. Fifth, the government officials at Port Office were in the training for the telegraphic procedure during the reign of King Prachulajom k l a u j a u h u a King Rama V. Sixth, the international telegraphic tables at the Post Office. Seven. The beautiful actress of Siamese traditional dance Cho took a photo with a semi-full costume on. She was wearing a tiara which was a flame in shape. She could have played at the theater as a show in the era of Ayutthaya until the beginning of Ratanagosin, and due to the shape of the tiara she wore, she could have even played the role of Her Royal Highness as well. She also wore the funnel filled with rice design, p u m k a b i n design, clothes, cloak over her shoulders with the gold guy tights. Tied to the tiara with her head by the rope strictly, or her artificial hair neatly, while the sima leaf pendant on her chest and three traditional long nails were put on her left hand only, and no ankles bracelets. Assuming that she was wearing her costumes today just to take a photo, not for the actual dance show to play. This photo was taken at the later range of King p r a j o m k l a u j a u h u a King Rama IV. Eight. The beautiful actress and actor of Siamese traditional dance show on the left and right hand side of the photo accordingly, at the later range of King Prajom k l a u j a u h u a King Rama IV as well. Ninth, the people at Nakhon Chai Si awaited for the King Rama VI, King p r a m u n g k u t k l a u j a u h u a to come worshiping at Prapatom j d Prapatom Pagoda. Tenth, one of the important photos in Siamese p i c s history. Mr. Rousseau Resitang at g a m p o City of France. He was giving the letter of returning t r a t back to Siam. On the right-hand side of the photo was Prayasi s i h a t e p s e n g m i r i y a s i r i the representative of Siam Governor at that time, to acknowledge this official action in front of t r a t City Hall on the 6th of July 1907. 11. The embassy of England was built on the land of p r i y a p a k d i n o r a s e t l e r s e t a b u t in the p r i n c i t area. This was the exchange with the old one, which was located on the Japriya River bank, attached to Jorangung Road. At the front end of the embassy was the war monument, and further inside one was the statue of Queen Victoria, which had been moved from the previous location. The far end one was the main residence that the construction had been completed in 1926. Later on, in 1947, this property was upgraded to become an official English embassy in the Kingdom of Thailand. Moreover, recently in 2018, the area of this embassy has been successfully sold to one of the private companies, and the embassy itself will be relocated to the other area soon. Twelve, the pier at the front of H T Company next to Chao Phraya River, Bangrak area. On the left-hand side of the picture, it's Mandarin Oriental Hotel, which has been operating pretty long until today in 2020. 
with the age of over 140 years. 13. Pisan Boot House with Chinese Architecture On the right hand side of the picture was the old house of Priya Pisan Supapon or Chun, the original ancestry of Pisan Boot. It was built to be a steamship pier for Siam and China merchandise transportation, called Hui Chung Long, next to Jia Priya River, Klong San area, the opposite of Songwat Road, Yawarat area. And the two middle houses in the picture on the left hand side was the house of Pra Pisan Supapon or Hong and Pra Niyom Narathirat or Pra Cha Chert accordingly. They were literally the great grandson of Priya Pisan Supapon or Chun. 14. The pier and the warehouse at HT Company will have become the famous tourist attractions at the moment in 2020. 15. Somdet Praputajanto Promarangsi at Warakang Kosita Ram, Rakang Kosita Ram Temple. His former designation was To. He became the Buddhist novice since the reign of King Ramawan, King Praputayot Fajula Lok Maharad, the very beginning of Chakri dynasty. He had a Dhamma study at Rakang Kosita Ram Buddhist School. He was famous as a novice who can sermonize so well. When he had come of age to ordinate as the Buddhist monk, King Ramawan had a royal grace to title him as a royal Naka or Nak Luang at the Emerald Buddha Temple of Wat Prasi Ratanasa Sadaram. He was such an expert in Buddhist doctrine. Later on in the reign of King Rama IV, King Prajom Klaujo Yuhua, he became the Buddhist patriarch at Pradamakiti 1852, then became Pratep Gawi, and finally at the highest title as Somdet Praputajan in 1864. He passed away on the 22nd of June 1872 at the age of 85 years old, 65 years in the Buddhist land. Sixteenth, Pranarayrajaniwet at Loburi province. It was built during the era of Ayutthaya in the reign of King Narai Maharaj. Seventeenth, the King Rama VI personal library. Located in the area of Jirada Rahotan Throne Hall, when King Rama VI passed away, King Rama VII, King Prapok Lao Chao Yuhua, had a royal grace to shift the King Rama VI personal library to Pranakorn's library or the city's public library, and later on to change the name to be Vashirawood Library. 18. A group of bullock carts and cargo ships at Nan's River Bank in front of Pichai City where presently it Pichai district, Uttaradit province, the northern part of Thailand. 19. The old lady's outfits, which were for the taken when His Royal Highness Prince Kompriya Damrong Rajanupa was traveling on duty to Udon prison, where presently it's Udon Thani province, the northeastern part of Thailand. 20. The local groceries and basketry stores for the Siamese daily living there were also the fresh vegetable stalls at the front of the store as well. 21st, Sapanhan or Swing Bridge at the area of Sampeng Chakrawat, Sampantawong district. It was made of the small wooden board which could be swung and allied over Ong Ang Klong. There were lots of local stalls doing their businesses on the bridge too. 22nd, the beautiful scenery of Japriya River with the canopy board or Rio Grasang at the front. Far behind of the picture, we can see Santa Cruz Church or Wat Gudi Jin. 23rd, the modern western merchandise store in Bangkok during the reign of King Rama V, King Prachulajom Klao Chao Yuhua. 24th, the movable carts and stores at the local market fair at the areas of Sanam Luang and Sanam Chai with the background of the East Gate of the Emerald Buddha Temple and the Grand Palace called Sawadisopa during the reign of King Rama VII, King Papok Lao Chao Yuhua. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this episode, the first one that Ancient Tales by Kanalap channel tried to describe clearly in English for your amusing history studies. There will be more episodes to come related to this series. Hope you find it informative and enjoyable. Stay tuned. Thank you once again for watching Ancient Tales by Kanala, where we keep tales alive and forever. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We look forward to seeing you all again. Bye for now and have a good day.